In this video, I will show you how to build your own external ISAC Lab project using the official template generator. It is the cleanest way to create your own project as it is modular, version safe, and easy to share. And the best part is that you don't have to touch the ISAC Lab source code or reinstall anything. I also have a quick update. I'm now more active on Patreon. If you want more tutorials and resources, you can now become a Litchi AI member. You'll also get access to my private Discord server, where I host weekly live teaching sessions. For example, next week, I'll show you how to use Cursor to generate code that understands ISAC SIM, ISAC Lab, their full code bases, documentation, and APIs, boosting your development time significantly. And if you can't attend live, don't worry, I will upload all session replays directly to Patreon. I will link it in the description. Okay, so let's get started with the tutorial. So first of all, a prerequisite is that you have ISAC Lab installed. I did a separate guide here, including a video on my platform. And now I'm walking you through the steps that we need to create our new project using the template generator. You can find the official documentation also here linked. So first of all, why should we even use the template generator? So usually the workflow is to fork the ISAC Lab repository and build our own environments and projects. With this internal method, we had problems with sharing, collaboration, and it was also difficult to upgrade. However, now with the ISAC Lab template generator, you can keep your work modular. You can upgrade very easily. You can have it way more organized and especially have a version control, meaning external Git projects. So it enables collaboration and it's integrated into Omniverse. We will learn how to generate a new ISAC Lab project, the difference between external and internal projects, how to install it, register and run your environments, and how to handle the folder structure, versions and extensions. I've already made an example of an external project here with the Leatherback community project that we have also covered on YouTube. And here I've linked the GitHub repository, which only includes all the necessary files to get started. So this project has only all relevant files to the Leatherback project. As I've already created an external project for the Leatherback, I will start with a completely new one on my new project that I'm working on right now, a manipulation arm, the SO100 robot. And I will not go into the project details here, as this tutorial only serves as a practical example of generating a clean template. Okay, so right now we are coming to the step-by-step -step tutorial. Like I've mentioned before, you have to ensure that you have already ISAC Lab installed. Then we will start by launching a template visit. So first of all, we will navigate to the root of the ISAC Lab repository. So as you can see, I'm inside the ISAC Lab folder right now. My ISAC Lab resides in another ISAC Lab folder, so don't get confused by that. So right now I will take the command to start the template visit. So as I'm on Windows, I will copy the code here, isaaclab.bat minus minus new. We can see the isaac bat file here. And if you're on Linux, it will be isaaclab.shell. So I will paste the code inside here. With this command, we started the wizard. So it's asking me for the task type. I can control it by moving the arrow keys up and down. As we want to have an external project, I select external by pressing enter. It is asking for a project path. As I will work on the SO100, I will create my own folder. So right now I'm inside the Isaac Lab folder. Here Isaac Lab would be my repository, but I will go into Litchi AI and I will create a new folder that is called SO100. So I will basically copy paste this here. I will give it a project name, so SO100. Okay, seems like I have to put an underscore, SO underscore 100. Now it's prompting me to select a workflow and as you can see, I have created my task, the SO100, inside the manager base workflow, as I have tried to copy the Franca arm, for example. So inside here, I will choose the manager base, which is uh, also a single agent. The difference between the direct and manager workflow can be also found in my previous tutorials, which I've also linked here on the platform. I've also made videos about these. So you can also check them out on my YouTube channel. And as you can also see, we have the option to choose all, where it automatically creates all the necessary files for any environment that you want to also change to in the future. But for now, I will stick to the manager based one. So I will click space and then enter to select it. Okay, right now it's asking me for the reinforcement library. In my previous videos, I always use the SKRL library because it supports a lot of different algorithms and also basically has everything that you need, including JAX and multi-agent, distributed training, vectorized, and uh, etc. I highly recommend using the SKRL one as well. 
can of course again choose all if you want but I've worked with this one, so I'll press space and enter. And finally, the algorithm that we want to use. In my case, it will be PPO. And that's it. Your external project has been created inside the folder that you have specified, and we will move to the folder structure now. So right now, I'm inside the external project that we just created. First of all, don't forget to activate your Conda environment for Isaac Lab. Then inside here, we see the generated structure. So we just created the project with all relevant folders and files, including the project setup scripts, the Git structure, so it already created a Git for us, and all the necessary configuration files. So inside we can see the script, so the SKRL reinforcement learning library with the train and play scripts that we know. We have the list environments that we will take a look at in a second. Then we have the source, where we have a very nested structure, Inside here, you find the manager base, SO100, and the agent. So in here, you will find the hyperparameters for the PPO algorithm. We will find the MDP files, so the rewards, observation, etc. that I will add in a second. The initialization file to register the gymnasium registry. And finally, the SO100 environment configuration. As you can see, it says Cardpool CFG. This is because the template comes in with the Cardpool example. So of course we need to change all the files and replace it with our code. So right now I want to show you how to do exactly that. So basically I will transfer all the internal project files that I have for the SO100 into the external file and also cover a lot of important steps. For example, if we want to use our custom USD, which I have from the URDF file, I will have to import those manually into my project and not from the Nucleus server. So this is unlike the examples that you have from the Isaac lab tutorials. Then if we want to have a custom USD and share it on uh, GitHub, for example, we need to exclude it from the Git ignore. So I will show you how to do that right now. So in here we have our project, here we have Git ignore, and here we also see the no USD files allowed. We need to disable this one so we can share it with other people. So I will just comment that out and save it. And yeah, one more thing is what I mentioned before is that we see a lot of nested folders with repeated names. So in our case, it is SO100. If we go to source, SO100, SO100, and etc. So this is intentional to match Isaac Labs internal structure. You can change it if you want, but you would have to kind of change a lot of stuff. So I would just keep it as is. Okay, so before we start to install the project to connect it to our already existing Isaac Lab, we are going to import all the files that we have from our internal project to our external project. So for that, I will have a double view. So of course, normally you would start to create your project in the newly created external project, but because I already finished mine in the internal one, I would just copy paste the files. Okay, so on the left, I'm inside the manager-based workflow and I will click on the config where I have copied the framework. So the SO100 is matching the SO100 here. So inside here, we see also the agents. So what I will do is I will delete the agents here and just drag and drop the agents into the SO100. I will also take the MDP, which is one file above um, inside here. So here I have rewards, observation, termination, and etc. So I will also just copy paste it in here. And we have the init file, which I also want to adjust. So the init file can be found here it's a bit different but yeah basically the same it is isaac lift cube so 100 v0 i actually don't want to change the id so i will just change the bottom part and then i will save it as you can already tell of course this will not work because the file names are different but once we change the file names everything will work perfectly so we also have the joint position environment cfg and here we are referencing to another file that we can see here. And inside this one, we have the yeah, um, interactive scene and also the MDP classes. And what's happening under the hood is that we use the uh, manager workflow. Like I said, I will not go too much into details here, but I will just drag and drop all the files that we need. So the automatically created SO100 environment CFG is the one that is matching the SO100 lift environment CFG. So I will just delete this one here and copy paste this one. Yeah, where I want to have it, I can either put it in here or here. It doesn't really matter at this point. 
And lastly, because I had an extra file called join position environment CFG, I will also just copy paste it in here. So right now we have almost imported all the files. One is missing. So usually inside Isaac Lab, you also have Isaac Lab assets where you will put the robot configuration. So as we can see, I copied the Franker for the SO100. So in here we have the USD path that we are referencing to. Right now I have it saved it locally on my PC, but I will put it into this external project. And then the articulation CFG, which is setting the parameters for the joints and the robot itself. So I will copy paste this inside here too. Here I will also create a new folder that I will call asset. In here I will put the USD file, which I will just copy from my folder. Okay, so right now I have copied the SO100 USD into my folder structure. This one will be shareable as well because we removed the git ignore commands. Okay, so the only things that I have to do right now is to just change some uh, pathings and some like minor tweaks. But usually if you create your external project, you will start working inside there. So you will not have this issue. So I will do that very quick and then have a separate video where I will explain the whole project for the SO100. Okay, so right now I have finished all the debugging and the pathing issues. So I will put this in full screen. Now all that's left to do is to install the project in the editable mode. This is done using pip inside the conda environment that is meant for Isaac Lab. So basically this one will link the external project to our source code. So for that, I'm copying the code here and putting in our project name. So I'm inside our external project. Here I will change it to source. So basically source is referring to this source and the project name is SO100. Okay, here I made the mistake that I'm actually not inside our external project, but inside SO-100. So I will have to go into our project first. And when I execute the command now, it will install the external project and link it to our existing code base. Okay, so first we should verify that our gymnasium registry is being actually registered. So by that we are copy pasting the code here. This is showing all the registries that start with template as it applies a filter. So inside our folder, if we go to the init file, we can see that we have template as a 100. So this is matching here. Okay, and now we can start to train our environment. So we are copy pasting the code here and we are taking our task name here. So we will replace it and start the training. So this is now training 4096 environments at the same time. Okay, so I've just committed the changes and then pushed it to the newly created remote repository. I have also added it into the tutorial here where you can find this Isaac Lab SO100 project of mine. And here we can also see that under the assets, we have the USD file that you can use. Okay, so before we conclude the video, I just want to go over what happens if Isaac Lab updates and the project breaks. So basically you can add release branches or tags for version control. So if you go to the Isaac Lab main repository and then under tags, you can see all the versions. So this means that you can 